everybody. You've just caught me having a snack and also pondering the statement, toast always falls butter side down. Now this is a pessimistic saying, meaning the worst thing always happens. But is there any truth to it? I mean, one possibility is that it is true and that butter is somehow attracted to the earth and always falls that way. Not very likely, I agree. Another possibility is that it's not true, but we think it is. Toast falls randomly, but we only remember those times when the toast fell butter side down and ruined the carpet. This is called selection bias. And this is the same way that psychics trick you into thinking they have special powers, because we forget all the things they said wrong and just remember those couple of things that by chance they got right. We have a selection bias in our data. But the third possibility is that it really does always fall butter side down, but it's due to something about how the toast falls. So, I have built here a special device that can test this. It's a platform where I can change the height. And I have a push stick that I can use to push my toast off and try and control as many variables as possible. So I'm going to put my toast on the table, and this will be the case where like, I elbow the piece off the table onto the floor. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh, did you see that? It landed butter side down. It bounced, but it landed butter. Let's do one more just to check. Here we go. Need that one out of the way. Butter side down. Absolutely disgusting. Now, what's going on? Now, one possibility is that the butter somehow makes the toast top heavy. So let's try a piece without butter. This is a simple variable that I can change. Let's put it on, see what it does. It's still flipped over. And so what is going on here, I think, is that when the toast gets pushed off the table, it starts to rotate. It rotates around and falls. And so the fact that it does exactly a half rotation is because this table, standing standard dining room table height of 75 centimetres, is just enough time for it to rotate once. Now we can test that, of course, by raising the platform here. Now if you want to try this at home and you don't have one of these, uh, you could use some books on the table or something like that to make it higher. So let's try a piece of toast from this height. Let's see what it does. It does a full flip. So that toast actually landed butter side up and is perfectly ready to eat. Well, that's the five second rule, I guess, but that's another experiment. So believe it or not, physicists have spent a lot of time experimenting with this idea. And in 1994, a physicist won an Ig Nobel Prize for their groundbreaking work on toast falling. But there is so much work to be done. So I'm, I'm calling out to you, this would make a great project. You could experiment with different heights, what happens if you are holding the toast instead of having it on the table. Maybe more topping makes a difference. I think this is a brilliant experiment and I would love to see all of your research on social media. Hit me up and we can compile a really interesting uh, study on this. Of course, if you want to see this experiment again or more great hands-on ideas, head to our website for lots of great videos. Until then, have a good breakfast and do lots of science while you eat.